going to be teaching you how to open a bottle of wine and how to properly serve it. So the three most important things that you're going to need today are your favorite bottle of wine, a glass, and a serving corkscrew. So let's get started. You want to make sure the bottle is on a flat, stable surface such as a countertop or table. The first step is to remove the foil and you do that using the serrated blade that folds out for most corkscrews. Use your index finger to steady the blade and place your thumb on the edge of the neck of the bottle. Slowly guide the blade around the bottle and use your other hand to gently turn the bottle in a circular motion. Use the edge of the blade or your finger to peel the foil off, revealing the cork. If your corkscrew doesn't have a blade, a knife will do the same trick. Next, pull down the corkscrew and insert it into the middle of the cork so the cork doesn't crack. Begin twisting clockwise until the corkscrew is almost disappeared into the cork, but you want to leave a little bit of room so that the notched lever will be able to rest on the lip of the bottle. Hold the notched lever steady against the bottle and use the other hand to pull the corkscrew up. There's usually some wiggling involved, but eventually the cork should pop out. Untwist the cork from the corkscrew and get a wine glass. Now I'm going to teach you how to properly taste and pour wine. Pour a little bit for tasting, making sure that the bottle is positioned over the center of the glass, and when you finish, twist the bottle while tilting it upwards to make sure the wine doesn't drip. Go ahead and swirl your wine, holding the glass by the stem. Swirling exposes the wine to a larger surface area, and when it has more contact with the air, the aromas intensify. The next step is to sniff the wine and taste it. Ideally, you should notice aromas of fruits, spices, herbs, or flowers, but sometimes there's an off smell of vinegar, sulfur, or even mustiness. Feel free to spit it out and give the remaining bottle to a friend. It's the thought that counts. Thank you. If you taste the wine and you like it, pour a glass and let it sit for at least 15 minutes. Letting the wine sit or breathe allows it to mix with the air, giving it a more pronounced body and flavor. Red wines generally benefit most from breathing. In the meantime, you can enjoy your entree or even run a quick errand. The final step is to grab a friend, tell them to bring a wine glass, pour, and enjoy. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>